Hello and welcome to another Radio Rambles. It's been a while. It's been a long time, in fact. And as a result, things have got a bit rusty and uh, I need to practice more. Uh, so I thought I'd do a little video short about how um, uh, we can utilise online software and other forms of uh, online services to help us get back in the swing of things or maybe you're a beginner and you're wanting to st uh, dip your toe into the world of amateur radio. So I'm going to talk about WebSDR. Now WebSDR, uh, if we go to WebSDR.org, it gives us a brief explanation of what it actually is. It is a uh, software defined radio which is a receiver connected to the internet that will allow you to tune and listen in uh, to, uh, to the airwaves basically. Uh, can't transmit, can't talk uh, to, to them, you can only listen, which to be honest is, is, is really good if you're just starting out because you get to know the pattern of conversations, the etiquette and the, the way people uh, talk um, when they're transmitting and that's a huge, huge help. And to be honest, this is how I uh, first uh, got into amateur radio. As you can see from the website, there are loads of uh, web SDRs out there. Um, but the two that I've found that are really, really useful uh, and are a lot of fun to listen to, uh, I'm going to step through now for you. So the first is Hack Green. Now, Hack Green, this one, this receiver is located in a secret or, or not so secret uh, nuclear bunker that's open to the public. And one day I hope to get up there and, uh, and visit it. I've used this site a great deal. Web SDRs are generally uh, laid out in the same format. Uh, you get what you call a waterfall. So you can see here uh, um, the, uh, the band we're currently looking at, the two meter band. And we can see here the, uh, the signals that uh, this receiver uh, at Hat Green are, um, is receiving. The, the, the whiter or the thicker the signal, the stronger it is. And you can see here we've got a few, few strong ones. <clears throat> so if I enable it now, we can maybe hear well, uh, what's, being, what's being spoken. So if I unmute it. So you can actually um, click here on, on the signals to, to listen in and hear what they're saying. Uh, this one here, maybe. It's nice because you get a, like a little window into into people's lives. It's uh, I used to listen to this for years before I took my foundation exam. Um, just really nice, just to just to listen in. You get to spot um, uh, uh, the same voices over and over again. Um, they're obviously local to the area where this this SDR is currently located. But yeah, that is uh, that's the hat green one. The other one I recently discovered is the uh, Jodrell S Web SDR. Again, similar format. You have your waterfall. <clears throat> um, quite handy to have these labels. They're they're labeled along the bottom here. So you can see here this is the two meter calling frequency one four five dot five hundred. So if I unmute it can't hear anything at the minute but again we can see where the signals are so if we click there we can listen in so this is located in another part of the UK so we're not picking up the same signals as we were doing at Hat Green and again you can't you can't transmit through these web SDRs you can only listen uh, which again is a huge, huge benefit and a bonus if you're just starting out or like me, just need a little refresher just to just to remind uh, ourselves about how we conduct ourselves over the airways when we're transmitting. Now, if you want to transmit using uh, like an online service, then I would recommend uh, something called Hamsphere. Now, Hamsphere gets a bit of a bad press, I think. Um, but again, if you're just starting out and you haven't obtained your foundation license, then Hamsphere might be the way to go. You, it gives you a virtual uh, transceiver here and you can then listen in, maybe. Uh, let's turn it up. 
there we go we can we can listen in but the nice thing is we can transmit as well so we have all the bands available to us and we can we can push that uh, push to talk button and call CQ if we want don't worry if you haven't um, qualified or haven't obtained your foundation license and got your call sign you can um, this is available for non-qualified uh, um, users uh, stations as well so when you register with Hamsphere uh, you get given a, a, a special Hamsphere uh, call sign it usually has the, the letters HS in it like 25 HS blah 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 or something like that um, which is really cool which means it's accessible to anybody who who wants to practice or get started with it and I found it a little bit quiet out there, but it is getting busier and you get to speak to a lot of people eventually. And again, once you've once you've listened and you know how um, people conduct themselves on the airwaves and you think you're ready to have a go at transmitting or or reaching out to people calling CQ, then Hamsphere might be the way forward. It's currently on version five. Uh, Hamsphere Three, Hamsphere 3 was really nice. It was like a really simplified version. And that was really nice. And it's a shame they got rid of it. But I understand why they had to merge all the versions together into one, uh, into the one we're seeing now. So there we go. I hope this is of some use to you. I'll put all the links in the description so you're able to click around and listen and hopefully um, call CQ yourselves. And one day, you never know, we might be speaking over the airwaves. So that's uh, a, a quick introduction into WebSDR and Hamsphere 5. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.